it's wonderful. We, we had so much joy in preparing breakfast downstairs this morning. And I said to somebody, I said, and people think the church is boring. They just don't know how much fun we have. And we give God praise and thanks for those of you who are out in TV land. We are coming to you from St. Mary's Anglican Church here in Carnival. This is our family service, and we hope that we not only minister to the people that are here in the church, uh, but also all of you who are watching uh, by way of television. And by the way, I'd like to say on behalf of all of us, a very huge thank you to Eastlink for providing us churches the opportunity of preaching the gospel uh, to so many people. We want to say thank you um, to all of them from the bottom of our heart. I see some people from Twillingate. Always good to see people from Twillingate. And I know there are people here from other denominations and maybe other places. We welcome you from the bottom of our heart. I do have to single out one person, and you can understand why. And that is two people. Reverend Alex Morris and his wife Joyce are back with us. And we're so glad to have you back. God bless you both. And of course, we have a new choir today, don't we? Right? Don't they look absolutely delightful? And we're so thankful for them. So thankful for our children and our Sunday school. Give them a big reward. Please turn with me to your bulletin, and you will find the call to worship. And uh, while you're doing that, I just want to say it's so good to have these five gentlemen uh, up in front here today. Uh, I've, I've, I haven't baptized them, but I christened them or named them the singing group because they, they don't have a name. And, and Bob Green has said to me, I've seen you uh, named us. And I said, well, I didn't know what else to call you. So uh, they, they have a new name. It's a singing group. We have Alex Sweetland, Robert Balsam, Robert Greenland, uh, Bill Carter, and Morris Randall. And we thank you today for sharing your gift of music with us. Please join me in the call to worship. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He gives us life and all praise in Jesus from the dead. Rejoice then, even in your distress. We shall be kind of worthy when Christ appears. God has claimed us as his own. He calls us from our hearts to the light of the day. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Now, in the uh, book, praise book that you were given as you came in, you will find two sheets of paper. And for our opening hymn, we're going to do all that's on the first sheet. And our singing group will lead us.
I invite you now to join me for the prayer of confession printed in your book. Together, most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. That we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the proclamation of the word. The first reading this morning is from Acts chapter 17, verses 22 to 31. Then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said, Ye men of Athens, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription, To the unknown God whom therefore you ignorantly will worship, him declare my unto you. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worship with men's hands, as though as he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things, and hath made one blood of all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth and hath determined the times before appointed, and the bounds of their habitation. That they should seek the Lord, if happily they might feel after him, and find him, though he be not far from the river of us. For in him we live, and move, and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said. For we are also his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that God hid is likely unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's device. In the times of this ignorance God went dead, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Because he had appointed the day in which we will not judge the world rights, but that man whom he had ordained. Thereof he had given assurance unto all men, and that he had raised him from the dead. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm this morning is Psalm 66, in verses 7 to 18. You'll find this on page 787 and 788 in your book of Honor Prayer. And for those of you who are visiting, uh, you'll find that book in the <coughs> Now 66, 7 to 18. We'll read this on the half first. Bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to the earth. Withhold from our souls in life. And will not allow our feet to sleep. For you, O oh God, have proved us. You have tried us just as the word is tried. You brought us into the snare. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water. But you brought us out into a of regression. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows. Which I promised with my lips and sold with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you sacrifice of fat beast with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen in 
from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved, and will come in, and go out, and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I come that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
so dear to my child as the little brown church in the vale. Come to the church, the church by the wild wood. Oh, come to the church in the vale. The love spot is so dear to my child as the little
Thank you so much, and I thank the good Lord for the gifts he's given you, for a willing heart to come and share these gifts with us today. And now we have another group of precious people behind me who are willing to share their gifts. And it's always a delight and a real joy to see our children. I just love children. I say, when I get to glory, I want the Lord to surround me with children. Because I think they're just absolutely precious and adorable. And so, I'm going to pass this part of the service over to them and to their Sunday school teachers. And of course, we give God thanks for our Sunday school teachers as well. And uh, when you're ready, you can begin. It's all yours. So sit back and enjoy. They're not performing either. They're witnessing. Children are the church, and we need to recognize that. Right, Russell? Children are the church, right? You agree? Huh? It's amazing. I've seen them grow up in the past year or so. Not just in height and whatever, but they're getting so mature and they're settling down, and it's absolutely wonderful. Good morning. How are you? In case you're wondering, there's a little boy up here and he's saying, Where's the bag? Where's the bag? And for those of you who are visiting, every Sunday morning I have a bag, you see? And we talk about what's in the bag. And he's missing that. There's no bag this morning. We pick a day when we uh, include both. 
And so, are we going to do what we talked about on the telephone? Stand as a couple, husband and wife. If you're here without your spouse, stand by yourself because they have something for you. So everybody, uh, you know, again, like two, a husband and wife will stand together or if you're here by yourself, stand by yourself, they will come and, and they will present you with what they have at the back. So when you're ready, guys, get busy, girls and guys, go to the back, follow Lana. Now Paul, Tony, and his wife are separated with two children, by two children, so don't give them one each. <laughs>
Sebastian. Yeah, she got one.
together we pray. God of glory, accept all we offer you this day, and bring us to that eternal city of love and light, where Christ is King. We ask this in his name. Amen. I invite you now to kneel or sit as you're more comfortable as we come before the Lord in prayer. And you will find the, the prayer of intercession printed in your bulletin. And we will pray together in one voice, bringing our needs and the needs of others before the Lord in prayer. Together. Remember, Lord, your people bowed before you, and those who are absent through age, sickness, or any other cause. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, inspire the faint-hearted, and bring the wandering to your fold. Journey with the travelers, encourage the oppressed, defend the widows, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Strengthen all who are in tribulation, necessity, or distress. Remember for good those who love us, and those who hate us, and those who have asked us, unworthy as we are, to pray for them. Remember especially, Lord, those whom we have forgotten. For you are the helper of the helpless, the savior of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. You know the need of all and have heard each prayer. Save us in your merciful loving kindness and eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> and the prayer of thanksgiving is found on the back of your bulletin. Together we pray in thanksgiving to the Lord. Our Lord God, we thank you for all your blessings, for life and health for laughter and fun, for all our powers of mind and body, for our homes and the love of our dear ones, for everything that is beautiful, good, and true. But above all, we thank you for giving us your Son to be our Savior and friend. May we always find our true happiness in pleasing you and helping others to know and love you. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. And we're going to sing together the words of the Lord's Prayer. I invite you to stand. It's on the back sheet of the handout that you were given. And the singing group asked me to let you know that we sing the first verse twice before we start singing, let all the people say amen. So let's sing together the prayer that our Savior Christ has taught us.
friends, may the grace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the love of God and in the knowledge of Christ our Savior. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. I just want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you. I would single people out, but as my husband tells me, sometimes I get myself in trouble that way because I got a tendency to forget. But I just want to say this. I'm so glad to be a part of this family called St. Mary's Anglican Parish here in Carnival. I love each and every one of you dearly, and I thank the Lord for bringing me among you. And uh, thank you for your ministry of singing and worshiping and serving and lay ministering and whatever you do to make this church, this congregation, this body of Christ what it is as we go with him. Thank you so much. I want to remind you that this afternoon, uh, if you'd like to, I got room for three people. <laughs> if you'd like to go to Burgoyne's Cove, I will be having a service of Holy Communion there at 3 p.m. And then tonight I will be in Port Blanford for service of Holy Communion there at 7. So if you feel you've missed communion this morning and you really would like to receive and support these people, they are without a, a priest right now, and so I'm going there to uh, worship with them and to be a part of their lives. And I'm sure they would support, uh, they would be quite pleased if some, if some of you showed up as well. Not to pressure you now, but you know, if you have uh, an evening free and you'd like to join them, then I'm sure they would really appreciate that. Our closing here. <clears throat> Just want to say too that next Sunday, as you saw in the bulletin, I will be at the Cathedral in Gander. Uh, we are celebrating uh, 50 years of ministry with Bishop Mark. Reverend Cheeseman and Reverend Torville and all the clergy will be there. And I'm so blessed that I've got someone in the personal, Reverend Alex, who will lead the worship Sunday morning at 8.30 and 11 o'clock in my absence. Thank you so much, brother. Our closing hymn is in your praise book. It's number 147. 147. Thank you again, gentlemen, and I won't... Uh, I won't say that I won't ask you again. I think you know I don't give off very easy. <laughs> Thank you so much.